I was invited to visit my geck friend Teabags at his subterraneous garden space, which is located on the planet called Liz de Moor in the Quanglia Tam system in the Isentum galaxy. I have now arrived and ready to meet my friend and share his story and some of the Gek lore. I stop and look around me at the ambience of this planet. Something strange is going on. I wonder what it is. I remember some of the stories teabags and his Gek friends shared with me about their history. And here's a little bit of what I've learned. The Gek are a small statured race with bird-like eye placements pointing back to their amphibious ancestry. They were warlike and cruel. They believed themselves to be the galaxy's master race Balaron was a planet. This planet was an oceanic world at the height of the First Spawn's empire, when it provided the amphibious Gek with places to spawn and breed their poor wiggles in the holy larval pools. These pools were filled with what became known as spawning syrup. These landing pads were very old. They're partially buried in the ground. What happened to the buildings and the structures? There's Teabags now. He's come to greet me. And he looks like he's leading me to a hole in the ground. What? A shining blue light is surrounding the hole. It's very mysterious and surreal. There's a flash of lightning over what looks like a moon pool floor. As I near the portal hole in the ground, I see my friend Teabags fall through it, into the hole. Should I follow him? Oh well, I'm open for some adventure. Let's go! As I jump into the portal, it appears that I've been taken back in time. I'm amazed at what I see. Such beauty and the colors. I look around and wonder, where am I? What's happened here? I feel like I'm in a time warp. Another dimension. Could that be it? I am in awe. It seems like there's a quiet hush in this place. As I walk throughout this garden cave, one word comes to mind. Sanctuary. This is a very special place where Teabags goes to think and contemplate life. It is truly a sanctuary.
it. This is where he was when it all happened. He didn't realize what was happening above ground. Can you imagine his dismay and horror when he came out of his sanctuary and saw everything gone except those landing pads? All he had left was his sanctuary. And what a beautiful sanctuary indeed. I will finish my story on the Gek lore before I leave the subterranean gardens. I am very thankful he invited me into his sanctuary. It was an awesome experience, and I couldn't help but share it with you. The ancient Gek were once led by a surgically perfected master race known as the First Spawn, who were obsessed with conquering the entirety of the Euclid galaxy and harnessing the resources in order to push out the Sentinels. In the spawning pools of Bowerman, hundreds of enslaved Korvax entities sacrificed themselves in desperation and used their nanite clusters, which run in Korvax veins like blood, to rewrite the genetic code of the first spawn embryons. They created the modern Gek race and ultimately led to the downfall of the First Spawn Empire. Hmm, this is interesting. They instilled the devotion to the Atlas in their minds and made them into a commerce-focused race instead of conquerors and warriors. There is much more to learn about this race, which I am sure I will learn in my travels. Once again, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this very special place with us, and we will definitely see you again.